What is going on, my broskies? My name is Toadski, and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And today, we're going to be talking about the brand new news that has dropped on the global version of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Now, uh, if you guys are watching this today, you'll know that the new Zero Stamina version of the Training Isle has just been released, being the Whitebeard Training Isle. Now, if you do complete it, you do get the Moby Dick ship as a reward, which is a very, very nice ship indeed. So make sure you guys try and, and beat that. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit easier once a specific unit comes out, which we'll be talking about in this video. Before we go on to the Holiday Spectacular, the Christmas Rare Recruit Special is here, where similar to Japan, you will have a certain amount of time to potentially get a, a Christmas version of Jewelry Bonnie or Trafalgar Law. Now, these units are actually pretty decent, so, you know, they might be worth pulling for, although if you have a Mihawk or if you already have the regular Jewelry Bonnie, there's not really much point, uh, because they are very similar to those units, so... You know, there's really no point in having these units. However, if you really want to be one of those collectors and go and pick them up, then there you go. Between December 21st and December 24th, you have a chance to go ahead and get the Trafalgar Law Holy Knight Nobleman or the Jewelry Bonnie Ravenous Greedy Santa. Now, the big main event for the next two weeks, we have the Holiday Spectacular, uh, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. So Extra Island is all decked out, and even the snails are excited to celebrate the season. Now, obviously, number one, Rainbow Gem every single day throughout the event. Always great that they're giving us a Rainbow Gem every single day, which is wicked. Now, December 22nd to December 28th, we have the double the chance to level up a special. This is amazing. Uh, you know, always great to get the double skill up uh, events to come out. Uh, you know, I think we've had recently, I think it was about maybe four weeks ago, that we recently had a double skill up event. But, you know, it's always good to get them, uh, you know, whenever they come out, it's always really, really great to have a double skill up event. Uh, anyways, so yeah, that's coming out December 22nd to December 28th, so that will be out only for the first week of this two-week event. Moving on to number three, we have the Bountiful Turtles. So, similar to the turtles that we had previously, uh, where you could actually choose what time that you start your turtle time. So, it's actually a lot better doing it this way, rather than having to wake up in the middle of the night, or, you know, having to set time aside just to get these turtles. I think it's great that they do this, so you can actually choose what time you want to complete the turtle time and pick up all of your beautiful, beautiful turtles. So, that's awesome that they've got that. Number four is the Times 2 Belly for Weekly Quest. This is average, you know, it would have been better if it was double drop or half stamina, but nonetheless, it's still pretty cool that it's there. Number five, now this is actually pretty interesting as well. So we have a very special holiday quest. Now this is happening on December 30th, 31st and the 1st of January, where you have a chance to get, uh, you know, some rainbow gems, turtles and cotton candy on this new aisle that will be appearing for three days, being December 30th, 31st and January 1st, as I said. And this is pretty cool. Uh, I've never actually seen this on Japan before. I, I'm not too sure if it's been on Japan before. However, it's actually really cool that we're getting it. We're going to get Get some more cotton candies, which is always really, really great because they're very hard to come across. Rainbow gems are always good, and also going to get some turtles for some extra XP. That's always very, very nice to get. Now, the main event of this two-week period is the Clash of Clashes. Now, first off, let's read this here. The Clash of Clashes has come home for the holidays and will have one quest after another. Blackbeard, Rampaging Chopper will be there, and guess who else is coming to dinner? That's right, guys. Don Quixote, Do Flamingo is back. He is back with a vengeance on global version, which is crazy good. Everyone's been anticipating the release of Do Flamingo, and he's finally here. Definitely one of the best units in the game. Uh, I will be having a how to beat Do Flamingo video coming up within the next couple of days, I would say. So make sure to keep an eye out for that because this is definitely going to be one of these raid bosses that you will have to max out. He's absolutely essential for going into the future of One Piece Treasure Cruise. So definitely, if you guys are maybe not being able to get him, definitely try your hardest to get yourself a copy of Doflamingo and try to max out his special because he is an absolutely amazing unit to pick up. So this is going to be awesome happening on December 31st to the January 1st, so it's going to be New Year's Eve to New Year's Day, which is pretty interesting. And uh, previous to that, we're going to have Blackbeard and Chopper come back. Now, Chopper's actually a really good one because you can actually use a Monster Chopper team to take on Doflamingo, so this is actually going to be really, really nice. 
and also Blackbeard as well. I believe that there are some specific Blackbeard teams that can actually take on Doflamingo as well, so this is also pretty, pretty nice to get both Blackbeard and Chopper right before the release of Doflamingo, which is nice. And the last sort of little uh, side event here from December 29th to January 4th is Half Stamina Across All the Seas, which is actually pretty nice, including the brand new Story Isle coming on the 21st of December. We'll have Half Stamina as well. The Long Ring Long Island. So... This is awesome. So much stuff coming to One Piece Treasure Cruise Global version. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And if you guys have, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.